Good morning, everybody. My name is Vuksan Rajković, and today I'll be talking a little bit about me. Uh, now, before you all run away, I just want to point out that I'll talk about .me domain names much more than about myself. Okay, so uh, is there anybody here from the main industry? Anybody who buys, sells the main, park them, monetize them? No? Okay. So basically what we do, we are a wholesaler of domain names. So every domain name, uh, .me domain name that is bought, is bought through us. Uh, we are Okay, sorry about that. Just a minute. So, uh, .me is a CCTLD for the country of Montenegro. There is a difference between CCTLDs and GTLDs. GTLDs are like generic top-level domains, like .com, .net, .org. And we are, on the other hand, country code top-level domain, .me for Montenegro. We were allocated this code in 2007. And we were like, yeah, we got the .me now. Uh, we realized immediately the huge potential, marketing potential of this uh, domain name. And we decided to go uh, on the global level with registrations. So if you wonder where Montenegro is, is that green dot just across Italy. So uh, this is our business model. So as you can see on the top, that's us. We are the registry, wholesaler of domain names. Uh, on the bottom, you can see the registrants. Those are the end customers. And in between, you can see registrars and resellers. The thing is, we do not communicate or sell directly to the end customer. We do this through accredited registrars. And then registrars can do this either directly to the customer or through resellers. So uh, when it comes to raising awareness and explaining to the people how they can build the brand with dot, uh, .me, we needed to overcome this obstacle. So we needed to find uh, direct, uh, a way to communicate directly with the customer. Of course, I mean, our registrar is doing a good job. We have like uh, 135 of them all around the world, but they're not always eager to promote me that much or to raise awareness and explain all various, few, various uses of the domain name. Uh, this is our growth line. So we launched in 2008 and uh, we did what is usually done when it comes to the launch of domain names. So first, there was a sunrise period. Uh, that is a period when only trademark owners could apply for a domain name. So what we did back then is to allocate domain names like Coca-Cola.me to Coca-Cola, uh, Microsoft.me to Microsoft and so on. The second period uh, was land rush, where everybody could apply, uh, but they still needed to submit an application. Uh, so again, if there, were like, if there was like more than one application for a domain name, there was an auction. Uh, and in the end, in July 2008, we went live. So everybody, since uh, July two years ago, could register .me domain name. There are no any restrictions. You don't have to be a citizen of Montenegro or inhabitant. You can be wherever you are and register it whenever you want. It's a completely automated process. Just go to the website to find our registrars and you're there. As for the growth, uh, I would also like to underscore that it is a steady growth line. So for two years, the number uh, of domain names in the registry has been rising. <clears throat> we have a steady number of daily registrations, and uh, right now we have around uh, 420,000 domain names. And like, just for the sake of measurement, population of Montenegro is like 600,000 people. So we have like that many domain names. Of course, most of them are not registered by Montenegrin citizens, by, but by the <clears throat> worldwide population. Uh, this is our market share. Uh, as you can see in the pie chart, most of our registrations come from the states. Uh, it's like 55% and some from Great Britain, which is of course reasonable because .me carries the meaning as the object pronoun in English. Uh, then we have Germany and then in the fourth place is this uh, uh, region right here, like Central Eastern Europe. Uh, .me has meaning, uh, actually me, 
bears meaning in all languages of former Yugoslavia, so people are registering back there, and I think it also carries the meaning in Bulgarian language, uh, as well like so on in Spanish, in Italian. Uh, we have registrants from over 200 countries, so that means that people realized the potential. Uh, when we were opening the registry, we decided to uh, hold back some of the really good names. Uh, those were the names like Sell Me, Buy Me, Web Me, Mobile Me, uh, and so on. Uh, we decided to do this in order to have a proper person or company that would in future develop those domain names, and there are like two ways of allocating these names. So we did do this either through auctions or through non-auction allocation program. So what we do with this non-auction allocation program is we receive an application from a person developer who is interested in developing a brandable name uh, and uh, application must include the business plan, detailed explained intended use of a domain name and we of course require references and uh, traffic statistics, usually traffic statistics from websites the person or company already owns or uh, from a service that they want to put on one of our premium names. Uh, the other way of doing this is through, through auctions. So we're also auctioning our names. So far we had a number of auctions with major auction houses like Cedo, Namejet, uh, Snap Names at major domaining events. Those are like Traffic New York, uh, you can see it there, and we at Domain Fest as well. So as you can see, we, we get some really good prices for these names. For example, Date Me, it went for $70,000. Then Host Me, it went for like $21,000. Uh, so the thing is when person or company uh, gives that kind of money for a domain name, they're ready to develop it. And uh, since uh, as more content we get behind these names, uh, it gives, it adds value to the complete top level domain. So this is the breakdown of uh, .me presence in Central Eastern Europe. Uh, as you can see, the greatest number is registered in Montenegro, which is again reasonable. Uh, but we have some really big registrations in Estonia, Russia and Turkey. Uh, as far as Bulgaria goes, it's like a small number, I mean f around 500 domain names comparing to the overall number of uh, 420,000. But what we are looking forward to see is uh, to see someone pioneering uh, .me domain names in Bulgaria. I mean, that would be great and I guess that would be like beneficial for both sides uh, because I know that we do not have accredited registrar in Bulgaria yet. Uh, now this is uh, the part of the presentation uh, I would like to concentrate a little bit more on uh, building your brand with me. So basically the question is uh, why would anybody opt for .me domain name uh, or choose or prefer the .me uh, over some other domain name? Uh, this is what we think about it and these are a couple of reasons we, uh, we mentioned. So the first one is that me carries meaning in a number of languages. Of course, there's English, but there's also Dutch, Italian, Spanish, all the languages of former Yugoslavia. The second one is uh, the fact that it is brandable and memorable. So if you like go online, I mean, everybody probably rem rem uh, can remember mobile, mobile me. That's like uh, um, Apple's uh, software then like call me, again call to action domain, then like envy me, uh, it's again dot me used with the noun. So uh, when you see this, once it is much more easier to remember it as a phrase uh, than as a domain. Uh, the third thing is uh, dot me is indexed by Google and can be geotargeted. Now these are things that are important for search engine optimization. Uh, some domain names are uh, not very well indexed, .me is, uh, and uh, it can be geotargeted. Uh, this, uh, this basically 
uh, means that, uh, for example, same search engine may throw different results in different countries. Now, to avoid this and to make your website appearing, you need to have domain geotargeting. And Google allows this for .me. Uh, so it treats it like generic TLDs, like .com and .net, and not like CC TLD. And like the second part uh, is uh, the qualities, those inherent qualities of .me domain. So it is a call to action name. W when I say call to action, I actually mean that uh, it can make a phrase that would incite a user to act. And these are the examples like motivirajme, I think it means motivate me in Bulgarian, sledime, follow me, pitajme, I mean ask me, a number of examples in English. Uh, again, that's the call to action is value that dot me adds to the phrase. Uh, then it can be used for personal websites and email addresses. So instead of going to Google or Yahoo and creating your email address, you can get it on your own domain name. Uh, we still have a lot of domain names left, so you can get your first name, last name, .me, or even your last name, .me, might be still available. I mean, you can create then your own email, get your own blog at this, and of course it's blog friendly, I mean, it's your name, uh, or personalized websites. The same thing is with social networks. Uh, there's a list up there, some of them are from Central Eastern Europe, uh, this one, the second one, is a really popular one in the States. Like really popular and with like uh, really good traffic. Uh, and again, it is value added by .me domain. So if we uh, forget about, dot me, uh, about domains for a moment, if, and if we look around ourselves, what we will see. We will basically see me everywhere. So what I did in this slide is I pick a couple of examples. So this is a store uh, and you can see uh, they have the marketing slogan, it's pick me. So if they decide to have a pick me domain name, that will be like one-to-one -one correlation between slogan and domain name on the internet. So it's like easy brand, it's right there. You don't have to look around anymore. Again, if you go to the, I don't know, nearest cinema, you will see this banner. I'm not sure, has anybody watched the movie? This one? It's like, it's uh, Universal Studio. It's an animated movie, Despicable Me. Then again, Mobile Me, which I already mentioned, uh, the service used by Apple, then for example on this uh, banner here, I'm a PC and it's all about me. It's all about me again directly corresponds with the domain name. You can get it and I mean there's no like sweating like to get some other domain name uh, to make it difficult for your campaign. Uh, for example this one that's like our campaign we ran in Montenegro. Uh, express yourself again that's our logo that's what we did, and we also did it on our own domain name. It's our blog we run, Explore the World of Me. Um, so, uh, basically the point here is, uh, in many cases, you have a direct match between brand and domain name. When you already have that direct match, why not use it? Why not do the exact thing? Take a domain name, take a brand. When you do not have a direct match, it's still easier to create it with .me domain name. So these, this, uh, these are the things what people did. And these are some of the most famous brands at our domain name. Uh, most of them are from the States, but we have some of them from Europe. So, so I mean, to start from the beginning, like fits me. Uh, this is actually a virtual fitting room. So it is a startup that uh, won a prize uh, for one of the best startups in Estonia and uh, it's basically a mannequin doll. If you go to the website you will see like a doll uh, where you can try on different sizes of shirts before you decide to purchase clothes on the internet. And that's that click between call to action and dot me domain. Then blog me. Um, this one was also allocated through one of our programs. Uh, it is used by Naver. H has anybody heard about Naver? N-A-V-E-R, 
So it's like the biggest search engine in South Korea. I, I mean, it, it ranks much better than Google in South Korea. Uh, and they're using this for their blogging service. So, it, it, I mean, Vlogme receives like a huge amount of traffic. Uh, the third one, who unfollowed me, it is actually a Twitter app. I mean, I put it there because it's interesting. Uh, you can find out who stopped following you on Twitter with this one. Uh, these two are also a new thing and really popular. Uh, flavors me and about me. Uh, they're basically services that aggregate social content around the web. Uh, about me is in beta phase, but uh, it should be launched soon. Uh, Tangle me, that's like online scheduling application. And yes, there is Despicable Me. That's the animated movie we talked about uh, a couple of minutes ago. They, ra they ran their campaign on .me domain name for like six months. So before they launched, everything could be found at .me domain name, which was kind of surprising for us because they preferred .me over .com. But again, it makes sense because that was that one-to-one -one correlation between brand name and domain name. And there is like Mobify Me. Uh, it is basically the website that gives you tips and tricks about uh, turning your uh, uh, website into a mobile one. And again, if you analyze like these domain names, I mean, you can see everything. You can see from call to action, like blog me, inciting users to act, uh, to uh, call to action, which are, which are uh, to call to action domains, which are actually invented words, like tangle me or mobify me. But they still work pretty good. Okay. So these are some brands from Central Eastern Europe. Again, it is the same principle used. Uh, Sledime, follow me, call to action, motiviraime, uh, motivate me. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this well. Am I? I am. Okay, good. Kled. Pitaime, uh, question and answer exchange. I'll just go through them. Okay, like uh, Spanish website, radio me, like... Uh, uh, f uh, free uh, radio web website free, uh, on the internet. Uh, what we uh, This actually means marry me in English. So it's again called to action. It offers everything from weddings to furniture. Uh, Optimizierime, uh, website dedicated to search engine optimization. Uh, again, uh, like a Ukrainian blog. Uh, then we have like dot me blogs. Uh, again, this is another thing I would like to talk about a little bit more uh, because this is what we, uh, where our education as far as customers are concerned goes. Uh, we see a lot of people using dot me for blogs, but we still don't see them using them enough. So this one um, is actually from Russia. And what we did, we partnered with one of our Russian registrars uh, and made a competition. And this is the blog that won the competition for the blog section. Uh, this actually means push me. Uh, and like even the better example is the one in Montenegro. Um, Zaboleme, uh, does anybody know what this means? No. So yeah, you know, okay. So it, it means basically who cares? Who cares? Uh, Yes, okay, that's a euphemism, but it means who cares. Uh, so the thing is, uh, the person who registered this domain name started, mar market, started marketing it blog. And I mean, the blog is simple WordPress template, but when he started doing this on Facebook, on Twitter, everybody started clicking to see what is behind Zabolem. Because it was interesting call to action. And I'm sure there are like plenty of other examples in various languages that could be used for this purpose. Uh, the content behind the blog is like a, a social criticism, like of Montenegrin society, but in a funny way, of course. Okay, so this is dot me in social media, another uh, really important thing for us. So as you can see, there are like three maybe, I mean, one, th 
three of the most famous internet brands that are using our domain name. And the interesting thing is they approached us. So they wanted to brand their companies with .me. So we have fb.me, it's used by Facebook. Uh, so f uh, it's used for uh, Facebook mobile platform. So for example, if you link your Facebook and Twitter account, uh, then you publish something on Facebook. It, would get, it will be automatically shortened on Twitter with fb.me slash so on. Uh, again, it is a shortener, fb.me. Uh, so for example, if you want to go to your fan page on Facebook, you can simply put fb.me slash your fan page name. It's like fb.me dot me if you want to become, fan, uh, to become fans of dot me. Uh, the other one is Yahoo. So this is Yahoo service. It's again social network. So that's something Yahoo wants to do as well. Um, the concept is more similar to Twitter than to Facebook and they wanted to get this shortener, Mimi. And the network itself is called Yahoo's Mimi. <clears throat> and the third one is WordPress, uh, we, uh, WP.me. Uh, it's a WordPress shortener used for WordPress blogs. So uh, this is something which also adds value to .me domain name and we get this really, really good exposure. Uh, the other ones are also social networks. I, I mentioned Forspring Me earlier. Uh, it's actually a question and answer exchange, and I think it is among 300 most frequently visited websites in the world uh, by Alexa, ranked by Alexa. And this Migre Me is also interesting. It's like a Spanish social network. Um, so what we have here, in the end, this is our project, uh, the project of the registry. Uh, this is our blog, Explore the World of Me. And what we wanted to do on this page was to raise uh, awareness about our domain name and educate at the same time. Uh, so as you can see, we have a call to action right there, Explore the World of Me, inviting somebody to see what me what dot me has to offer we have a small educational video running up there and uh, we have uh, a ton uh, a lot of domain names dot me domain names for personal and business use uh, we need to do this because this is like one of the only ways of communication between us and then the customers and we use we did it using our own brand dot me domain name. Uh, we partnered up with some registrars and if you can see that uh, upper right corner uh, that's where you can click to register domain names. So basically at one page you get uh, the example of useful domain name call to action, the example of other domain names, different uses, personal and business and opportunity to register it. Uh, so basically what is our point here? Uh, our point is uh, that in this era of internet personalization, when it is becoming more and more pers personal, when uh, the use of social media is greater than ever, people should think about creating their own online presence, creating their own biography on the internet. Uh, dot me, in our opinion, of course, is a domain that offers that possibility. Why? Because you can get your personal website or blog here. You can get an email address. Then what most of the people do, they uh, also register a shorter version of their blog, like a URL shortener. So for example, if you get Joshua Me, then you also register Shua Me, then you can do like a lot of things with that, post it on Twitter because it has a smaller number of characters. Uh, then again, it, uh, I mean it is uh, widely recognized by major brands, Facebook, WordPress, and Yahoo. And uh, having all this in mind, uh, we guess that we contributed, at least in some uh, aspect, to the social media world and to the domain world. Okay, that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions, or if you're willing to share any ideas with us, we would like to hear.
Okay. Uh, offers. So we are not hosting provider, but what you can do, you go to our registrars and they offer hosting. They often offer a domain name uh, in package of the hosting. But we, we are, I mean, we strictly sell domain names. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, not really, uh, I mean, we did something with our blog, but uh, how do you mean local, like, like in... Yes, that's, yes, yes, I mean, that's, that's, that's the thing. It is treated as, uh, it is indexed and it, is tr it, it can be geotargeted. Uh, but, I mean, you still need to test it. But, I mean, we have, like, uh, maybe that will answer the question. We have like a great deal of domain names registered in Asia, so they optimized it. We have a great deal of them registered in Estonia, so they did the same thing. So it is, I mean, it's definitely Google friendly. That's... Okay. Uh, it's, we have a fixed fee uh, towards registrars, and then the fee varies from registrar to registrar and their offers. But it is, I mean, right now it is somewhere from 6 euros to like 25 euros, not more than that. That's the range, basically. For the first year, of course. When uh, for one domain there are two uh, more competitors, how do you form the price? Uh, okay, so, so this was only for the land rush process that ended in uh, June 2008. Now uh, it f uh, functions on the principle uh, uh, first come, first served. <laughs> so it cannot actually happen. If you're the one who registers the domain first, you get it. That's it. Any more questions? Any more suggestions? No suggestions. Okay, I guess that's about it. I mean, I'm here if you would like to talk or if you have some other questions or suggestions, I'll stick around for a couple of minutes. Thank you very much.